Welcome to English Podcast for a Better Life. Like and subscribe for the next videos. English for a Better Life. English Podcast for your life. I want to talk about something that has affected me for most of my life. It's something I think many of us struggle with, but we don't always talk about it openly. It's the habit of comparing ourselves to others. I used to compare myself to others all the time. I would look at people around me, at what they were doing, what they had, and where they were in life, and I would feel like I was falling behind. I wasn't as successful, as smart, or as good-looking as they were. This habit of comparing myself to others made me feel unhappy, stressed, and even worthless at times. But over the years, I've learned that comparing myself to others is not only unhelpful, but also harmful. I've learned to stop comparing myself to others, and I want to share my journey with you. When I was younger, I was always told to do my best, to work hard, and to be successful. I took this advice to heart. I wanted to be the best at everything I did. I wanted to be the top student in my class, the best athlete on my team, and the most popular person in my group of friends. I thought that if I could be the best, then I would be happy. But no matter how hard I tried, there was always someone who was better than me at something. There was always someone who got higher grades, who was faster, or who had more friends. I started to feel like I wasn't good enough. I began to believe that my worth was tied to how I compared to others. This way of thinking followed me into adulthood. When I started working, I compared myself to my colleagues. I compared my job title, my salary, and even the way I dressed to theirs. If someone got a promotion and I didn't, I felt like a failure. If someone had a nicer car or a bigger house, I felt envious. I was constantly measuring my success against others, and it was making me miserable. I also compared myself to people on social media. Social media is full of people showing off their best lives, their perfect vacations, their beautiful homes, their happy relationships. I would scroll through my feed and feel like my life didn't measure up. I didn't have the perfect body, the perfect relationship, or the perfect life that I saw in the photos. This made me feel even worse about myself. But then something happened that made me rethink everything. I was talking to a friend who I always thought had it all together. She was successful in her career, had a beautiful family, and seemed to have everything I wanted. But during our conversation, she opened up to me about her struggles. She told me that she often felt overwhelmed and stressed that she had insecurities and doubts just like everyone else. Hearing this made me realize that everyone has their own struggles, even if they don't show it. No one's life is perfect, and the way we see others isn't always the full picture. This conversation was a turning point for me. I started to understand that comparing myself to others was not only unfair to myself, but also unrealistic. We all have different paths in life, different strengths and weaknesses, and different challenges. Comparing myself to others was like comparing apples to oranges. It didn't make sense. I began to work on changing my mindset. Instead of comparing myself to others, I started to focus on my own journey. I asked myself, what do I want to achieve? What makes me happy? What are my strengths and how can I use them? I stopped worrying about what other people were doing and started to focus on what I could do to improve myself. One of the first things I did was to set my own goals. Instead of trying to be better than someone else, I set goals that were meaningful to me. I asked myself, what do I want to achieve in my career, in my personal life, and in my relationships? I set goals that were based on my values and my dreams not on what others were doing. This helped me to focus on what was important to me and to stop worrying about what other people were achieving. I also started to practice gratitude. I realized that I had been so focused on what I didn't have that I had forgotten to appreciate 
what I did have. I began to keep a gratitude journal where I would write down things I was thankful for each day. This helped me to see the positive things in my life and to appreciate them. It also helped me to stop comparing myself to others because I was focused on my own blessings rather than what others had. Another thing that helped me was to limit my time on social media. I realized that social media was a big trigger for my habit of comparing myself to others. So I decided to take a break from it. I unfollowed accounts that made me feel bad about myself and started following accounts that inspired me and made me feel good. I also started to spend more time offline, doing things that made me happy, like reading, spending time with friends and family, and pursuing hobbies that I enjoyed. As I made these changes, I began to notice a difference in how I felt. I was less stressed, less anxious, and more content with my life. I no longer felt the need to compare myself to others because I was focused on my own path. I started to see my own progress, no matter how small, and it made me feel proud of myself. I also learned to celebrate the success of others without feeling bad about myself. I realized that someone else's success didn't take away from my own. We are all on our own journeys and there is enough success for everyone. When I saw someone else achieve something, I started to congratulate them and be happy for them rather than comparing myself to them. One of the most important lessons I learned is that my worth is not determined by how I compare to others. My worth comes from who I am as a person, from my values, my kindness, my honesty, and my efforts. I am worthy not because of what I have achieved or how I compare to others, but because of who I am. I also realized that the people I was comparing myself to were probably comparing themselves to others as well. We are all in this together, and we all have our own insecurities and struggles. No one is perfect, and that's okay. It's okay to have flaws, to make mistakes, and to be a work in progress. What matters is that we are trying our best and that we are kind to ourselves and others. As I continued on this journey, I started to feel more at peace with myself. I stopped putting so much pressure on myself to be perfect or to be better than others. I started to accept myself for who I am with all my strengths and weaknesses. I learned to be kind to myself, to forgive myself for my mistakes, and to be proud of my progress. I also learned that it's okay to ask for help when you need it. Sometimes, we get so caught up in comparing ourselves to others that we forget that it's okay to struggle, and it's okay to ask for help. Whether it's talking to a friend, a therapist, or a mentor, asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. As I look back on my journey, I am grateful for the lessons I've learned. I've learned that comparing myself to others is a waste of time and energy. I've learned that my worth is not determined by how I compare to others, but by who I am. I've learned to focus on my own journey and to be proud of my own progress. I've learned to celebrate the success of others without feeling bad about myself. And most importantly, I've learned to be kind to myself and to accept myself for who I am. If you find yourself comparing yourself to others, I encourage you to take a step back and look at your own life. What are your goals? What makes you happy? What are your strengths? Focus on your own journey and stop worrying about what others are doing. Remember, you are worthy, not because of how you compare to others, but because of who you are. Take the time to appreciate what you have, to celebrate your progress, and to be kind to yourself. And remember, you are not alone in this journey. We are all in this together, and we all have our own struggles and insecurities. It's okay to be a work in progress, and it's okay to ask for help when you need it. As I continue on my journey, I know that I will still have moments of doubt and insecurity but I also know that I have the tools and the mindset to overcome them. I will continue to focus on my own journey, to celebrate my progress and to be kind to myself. And I will continue to remind myself that I am worthy, not because of how I compare to others, 
but because of who I am. I hope that by sharing my story, I can help others who are struggling with the habit of comparing themselves to others. It's not an easy journey, but it's a journey worth taking. By letting go of comparisons, we can find peace, happiness, and fulfillment in our own lives. So let's stop comparing ourselves to others and start focusing on our own journeys. Let's celebrate our own progress and be proud of who we are, because in the end, that's what really matters. Thank you.